As pet owners, we only want our dogs to be near us all the time. We don't want them to ever leave our side and be gone from our home. Some pet owners have already treated their pets as part of the family. If they ever leave us, it would make us terribly sad. So, what can we do to prevent this from happening? We have to learn to train our dogs to stay within our yard. Think it's hard? Think again. Here are some training tips for dogs that we think can help you with your beloved pets. As we want to be always near our dogs, we sometimes set up dog fences or some sort of pet enclosure to make sure that our dogs stay put. However, this might not always be the right solution to our dilemma because there is a possibility that our dog may escape. Worst case is that they would get lost and we wouldn't immediately find them. Here are some dog training tips that will help train your dog to stay within your yard. 1. Set the boundaries for your pet. First thing in teaching your pet is knowing the boundaries within your yard. Here's how you can set boundaries and introduce them to your dog to help them stay within your yard. Mark the perimeter with flags as you walk and set the boundaries. Put an allowance of at least 2 to 3 feet from the actual boundary of your yard where you would want your pet to stay away from. Advise other members of your family of the boundaries that you have set in your yard for your pet. 2. Teaching the commands. This is the important stage of teaching your dog the boundaries within your yard. You would have to teach them to reinforce the boundaries that you have set. Try to teach your dog different commands. The most common commands you would probably use are, no, stop, wait, and sit, that would teach your dog to stay within your yard's perimeter. Also, teach your dog release commands. This would help him know that there are instances where he can breach the boundaries that you have set as long as you are with him. Cue words such as, let's go out for a walk, or, time to go out, can be used. 3. Walk around the boundary on a leash. Now would be the time to familiarize your dog within the marked boundaries of your yard. By having a leash on hand, you are introducing them to the boundaries that you set but still having control of the situation. Walk your dog at least four to five times daily for the next couple of days. Spend time with him within the marked boundaries of your home. Allow your dog to explore the marked boundaries. Let them sniff the area but don't go beyond the boundary. If your dog does set his foot beyond the marked boundary, immediately correct your dog by giving a quick but firm jerk accompanied by a no command. After a few days, you may now walk your dog and allow them up to the boundary then stop. During these times, you would rely on the stop or wait commands on your dog. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. After a few more days, you can walk your dog to the boundary and you can step over the boundary to set an example for your dog. You would need to command your dog to stay when you show him that you are walking beyond the boundary. When your dog stays still, you can reward your dog with many treats and shower him with praises for staying still and following your command. You would need to repeat this process but under the different areas of the marked boundary. 4. Leaving the leash behind. Once your dog is comfortable walking within the boundaries of your yard and following your commands of staying within the boundary, now it is the time to slowly remove your dog's leash. Your dog should still be able to follow your commands of stay and no. If your dog veers away from the marked boundaries, be ready with reprimands and be quick and firm with your commands to make your dog stop. Reinforcing the boundaries. Making your dog follow the boundaries of your yard relying only on cue words such as stop or wait. This helps reinforce the boundaries that you have set in your home. Walk your dog daily and regularly but still give reprimands to prevent your dog from breaking the rule and crossing the boundary. You would need to retrace the lessons that you have taught your dog when it comes to the boundaries of your yard. Add exercises to help reinforce your dog the lessons about the boundaries of your yard. You can use your dog's favorite toy and place it outside the boundary. You can also ask assistance from other members of the family to stay on the other side of the boundaries to see if this would distract your dog. 5. Reward your dog and praise him. If he can successfully follow your command of staying within your yard's boundary, reward him with treats. 
Be extra attentive in giving him treats and praises when your dog is able to ignore the distractions surrounding him. Reinforcing your home's boundaries to your pet dog is a simple task. You can teach your dog to stay in your yard by teaching him a series of commands and marking the boundaries of your home. It will require a lot of time and commitment on your part as an owner, but trust me, it will be all worth it in the end. The tips and steps we have listed can truly help your dog recognize the boundaries in your home. For you, it would be the peace of mind that your pet dog is in the comfort of your home. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.